This is a part 2 from the ArcGIS Hello Map uh, tutorial. Uh, we have, uh, as I say here on the developers ArcGIS.com, we have now successfully created an Android project like this. And this is the Android Studio. What you see here is the main activity Java file. We don't going to change this. Uh, we are going to look at this Gradle scripts. So we go back here to developersarchist.com. This is the first map app you build. And here it says uh, you will add a runtime Android SDK dependency to application models as an Android archive package. Uh, it's like we take some free uh, free um, libraries, free code from S3 that we need to build this app. So we're going to go, go to the Gradle script, the project hello world, but our is project hello map. So go to here and in this section of Android Studio, uh, be sure you have the Android not the project Android part here. Uh, you see here uh, we have the Gradle script here and then you have two Gradle build Gradle. The one is for the whole project and this is for the mobile app. I'm going to do the whole project first. So double click and it looks like this. And here uh, we're going to put the code you see here on the developers page. You see here, add the S3 ArcGIS Maven repo. Uh, so we, it's it's like we have a uh, web page where we got some code we need, and it's automat uh, automatically uh, download when we uh, build our project. So I'm a little bit lazy, so I just take this and copy it. And then we go, you see here, after G center and parentheses, um, take a new row and then we copy it. And then we get this Gradle file has changed. So you just click sync now. And then the Gradle is syncing. So we have the URL here. And when we uh, compile or build this when we build this project it's going to look at this uh, look at this page on the internet and give us some free code the next thing we're going to do we go back to this side is we're going to go to the, uh, the specific model app gradle and it's this is one under one we see a model app double click and it looks like this here you have the Android, we have the compiler version, for me it's 23, uh, and then we have some other things here, we have the application ID, uh, mean SDK, you know, we, we put f uh, AP15 there, and here we have the version 1 and version name 1.0 and so on. And here we have uh, dependencies, uh, it was what it's going to have for libraries to when it compile the code. Go back to the see this side, and here you see we're going to have this com.s3 archis android and so on in this compile dependencies. So we take this row, copy it, and paste it here. Like that, and then we get the Gradle file has been changed, and then we click sync now. So now, when we compile this code, we're going to have this uh, S3 Archis Android libraries, so on. And uh, in the Android section of the script, we have some default config. Uh, package option you see here on this page is after this default config we have the packaging options here and uh, so we take this part and copy it and then go back to let's see again uh, after the default config 
here's the default config you see we have the this uh, this is default config it starts there and, and finish there and then we paste it like that what this say is it excludes this file so we don't get uh, double up and the directory exclude duplicate files from the Android package file created when you build your app. Uh, so now it looks like this and it talks about this Gradle sync blah 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 and then we come to the next part uh, so I take sync now. So now we are finished with this and uh, in the next film I'm going to tell you how to do with the manifest file.